I want that to work. How does it work? <laughs> I thought you were playing together. No, no, no. She's not gamer? Nope. So we are already live. So we'll oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. We are live? Yes. Oh, we are live. But we're not starting yet. We just... He's alive! Okay. <laughs> uh, you want candy? Sure. I have a Greek candy. So we're not C uh, starting yet. Cinnamon candy. Man, it's awesome. So we're not uh, starting yet. To my mother. Let's eat. People can watch us eat. Yeah. This is how actors eat. They never saw me eat. This is the first thing. They never saw me eat. It's strange to, to hear myself. Yeah, I'm playing the sound bar here. Hey, Blue Voice Who? Hi, Lou. We're going to start in a bit. We just were hungry as hell. Yeah. We gotta get some yedlo. We got <laughs> some yedlo. <laughs> some hladny. Strašne hladny. Uh, ako sa povie hladny ako volk? Hladny ako volk. Hungry as wolf. Mm, that's me. That's me. That's me. Hladny ako volk. I'm really happy that you came. Yeah, I, I'm happy uh, to be here because I... I, I am, uh, this is like amazing place. Really. <laughs> really, man. Thank you very much. I love it. So this was about two years of buying. Mm. Two years I was just buying stuff. But now you have everything. Like now like I really have everything that I could want. Wow. We have a pizza from Domino's. Yeah, thank you very much for, for joining, guys. We're going to be starting in a little bit. We just want to eat because... Both of us are starving and we might die. Mm, so yeah. so if you don't mind, just watch us eat. This is how celebrities eat. No, you can see here. Asamara. <laughs> Asamara shit. Yeah, so actually we should monetize this, guys. We're, we're, we're making you come. <laughs> Do people watch that to do that? Yeah, but you must be naked. Uh -huh. And you must be girl. Like yeah, nobody wants to watch it. <laughs> She said it. Lou, are you a fan of uh, Lukash? No, she's fun of you. Hi, Ludmila. I have no fans. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I have no fans. <laughs> you have, look, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. In your computer, you have my like... my PC, I have a lot of fans. A lot of fans. Like maybe nine. No. Hi, Ludmila. Ludmila, ahoy. Hello. We're gonna be starting soon, guys. Just uh, eating a little bit. Oh, you love English? Yes, I love English too. Do you Me and Lucas work together on Spemankovo. Oh, yeah. Mm, that was a years ago. I was playing uh, a rat. What is Spivanko? Spivanko is a show for children. It was a film which goes in cinemas. And kids love that because there are songs and uh, I was in, in the film, there was uh, animals. Mm -hmm. I was a rat and I was separating garbage. I don't know right now. Lou, what were you doing? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, I do apologize. Um, we're going to start in just a couple minutes. We're just eating before we start. So just give us five minutes. Guys, you can, you can s type something in chat and I will take it on the story. Like three, two, one, go. You can start. I'm making story of the chat. Type your question. Oh, her 
husband was worked as a yeah, as a gaffer. Yeah. Wait, the gaffer is the one with the. It's not the sound guy, right? Nope. It's with the tape, taping uh, everything. No, ga- gaffer gaffer guy is uh, lighting guy. Okay. Ahoy, Matush. We got Matush as Matush. well. Matush. Hey. <laughs> we lost it. People didn't like us eating. They <laughs> just left the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Guys, have a little patience, man. We're hungry. Yeah, right? We are hungry. We are uh, hungry. To bol suchý vtip. The last one. For me. Now. Because they want to watch us. And not eating. Okay, okay guys. So th- a lot of people left just because we were eating. <laughs> It was a really great experience. Lukáš is a really great and Kind guy. Oh, thank you. That's really nice to hear. And I know. Thank you. I actually have the pleasure of knowing Lukas personally. Yeah. So. And I have a pleasure to know you personally. You are thank you so one much. of the most kindest guys. Thank you. Like, like really. Just to the people I like. So if I don't like you. You will think that I'm a cocot. <laughs> For sure. For sure. I just... Uh, Lucas, I'm too old to be pretending to like people. Yeah. Sometimes you must get to the point in your life w- when you uh, need to sort the people. And I'm not uh, rude to people. I just don't pretend to like them. You know? Mm? You don't You don't need to be friends with everybody. Yeah, let's not do promotion. Ah, yeah, it can be here. <laughs> Nvidia, watching the stream. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Send Lucas a graphics card. Nice. So I'm gonna. I I will finish soon. Yeah, don't worry. So while we get started, I'll tell you the rules of something Poanglitsky, right? I think uh, people were one of the things that people were requesting is that the camera be uh, facing us and not above us. Mm-hmm. So I think people should be happy now. Also, they get to see the background. So you moved camera from somewhere? It used to be higher. Uh-huh, okay. So now I moved the camera so it's in the front. So the rules of something po anglitsky, right? Um, we are talking mainly in English, but... Whenever you want, you can switch to Slovak. That's allowed. Mm-hmm. If somebody's asking a question in the chat in Slovak, then we reply in Slovak. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's how we do it. There's a couple of traditions that we have. Like that's very kind of you. Thank you. We will be signing the PC. And actually, I'll be switching to the camera so so we can see that. And I'll talk a bit about this PC, actually. Let me just switch to that. It should be... You call that PC a beast, but I think it's beauty. Thank you. So let's see if we get some image. Why is that not working? Guys, we are still here. We're just um, trying to figure out why this is not... You are switching cameras? Yeah, I want to go to the camera mm-hmm. so that they can see you signing the PC. So now this is a podcast for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's just for listening, guys. It's yes. really a podcast now. It looks like that's not going to work, so never mind. Never mind, guys. You'll just have to believe me that he's signing the PC. I have a b- huge biceps here. Look at me. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay. Oh, 
not as big as that because we are running out of space. Thanks, Duke Clock, taking up the whole real estate. You can sign but, anywhere you want. But you know, there, <laughs> when when Duke Clock's uh, when Duke Clock signed here, the PC cost like twenty thousand now. Yeah, and when now when I you sign, sign it, here, it will go down. No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> okay, so uh, I will go. Where? It's up to you. Okay. Don't be shy. He's signing the PC, guys. And remember, uh, actually, this PC is something that's going to be gifted. It's going to be signed by every single something Poang Glitzky. This will be gifted? Yes. Oh, <laughs> guys. Maybe I'm being a little ambitious, but you need to have a vision. Mm -hmm. I decided that once I get to 500,000, This PC is going to be good still for another 10 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to be given to one of my fans. Wow, man. Maybe if you follow me, you'll get it. <laughs> <coughs> I, I, of course I will try. <laughs> Just make fake accounts. A lot of fake accounts. A lot of them. Okay, so I think we're ready to start. You know the rules of something, Poang Glitzky. For those people that don't know who the hell you are, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Hello guys, my name is Lukas Froijs uh, and I hate to talk about myself. <laughs> no, uh, I am an actor, I am YouTuber and influencer and whatever you think I am, I don't know. But mm, mostly I am an actor. Uh, I, w I started doing YouTube videos like seven years before with my friend Maciej Rebny. And... Before that, I studied acting. I played it some in some series. I s I play in Perin Baba too, which is not released yet. Yeah, so this is something that's truly, truly pissing me off. Yeah, I I, I don't know if you remember <coughs> that maybe for a few years I've been asking you when the hell is the movie coming out because I saw the trailer and I was really excited. I'm because I saw the original one. Yeah, the bad one. I liked it. <laughs> no, you, you mean uh, you mean the first? But, yes. Ah, okay, okay. I saw the original one. The original one. And I was waiting for this and nothing. Mm, so I what know. happened? What happened was a corona. And they uh -huh. want uh, money from the cinema, you know. The film cost like six million euros. To so make, oh. you just can't put it in the TV or, or, on, or some stream service. It must be done... Through through the theaters, and but the longer they take, the the less money they're gonna make. No, maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know. That's really a shame. You, you know, the thing is, if the film will be good, the the people will will come. But if it sucks, well, we're <laughs> we're looking forward to it. So, Lukas, thank you for the introduction. Um, I have a few questions to get started, and also we have questions in the chat. But so, from my research, yes, you were born in Czechoslovakia still. That's right. And is it true that you were born in Martin? That's right. I That's was just born there. So you never lived in Martin? No, maybe like few months, a few months of my life. Because the story is, my father uh, played in, in theater there, in Martin Theater. I, I don't know how it's called in English. Doesn't matter. Mm. And my mother too. Uh, they met there. They made me there. <laughs> 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 my mom popped me out uh, in Martin. <laughs> And then they uh, moved to Bratislava because my father uh, was from Bratislava originally. Okay. So aren't you the most famous person from Martin? Or is there anybody? No. Okay. I'm I'm definitely not the most famous person uh, because in uh, from the Martin there comes a lot a lot of great actors Slovak actors actual How come? Slovak How come I is, don't know. do they have a special school or the theater is really strong there or what I think it's in the air <laughs> It's <laughs> in the air know. of Martin I don't know I actually the only reason that I know Martin is because there's a medical university there <coughs> Yeah And and Matica Slovenska. What is that? I don't know. Or what do they do? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, it's it's like super old institution. Yeah. Uh, 
they they it was like founded for something like I don't know because Slovakia was under um, strong uh, Magyar uh, Hungarian uh, Hungarian yeah Hungarian pressure mm-hmm. before and I think Matica was something to store the Slovak books and I, I really don't know what they are doing now. It's it's like the is most it, useless Is it a place you can visit? I think yes. I don't know. Okay, it's something that we will need to see. <coughs> you started dubbing at the age of six. Is that true? Yeah. I think it, it, it was... I was like six or seven. And what were you doing? What were you dubbing at six or seven? Hey, it, it was funny because uh, uh, my mother uh, working as an assistant for a director in the dubbing, uh, and I was like sitting there because you know no one was home. My father was uh, playing something uh, in TV series or or making dubbing, and my mother was there. So my child, my whole childhood was in Slovakia national television in that building. So I was just sitting there and and watching how they make dubbing of Flintstones. Oh wow. Or or uh, Star Trek also, yeah. That I was mean, cool. That, that that must have been an experience. Yeah, but but you know there are la- l- lack of children's in dubbing. Small children's mm-hmm. because uh, you don't know how to read at that age. I thought that usually small children are done by older people. They just make the voice. No. No. You need the, the you need the children. So uh, you have other person, your parent, mm-hmm. uh and he's like uh, reading. He tell he tells you what you must to say and you are like uh when <laughs> what 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 what's going on? Uh, uh yes. And <laughs> it's just like y- you say something, uh, something small, like "Hi, ma'am," and that's enough. Yes, ma'am, and that's it. Yeah. And the director was like, "Oh, come, Lucas, we need the uh, children. We don't have anyone here." And I was like, "No, no, I don't want to." And at some point, I, I, I told yes. And then I start my first, my first character in dubbing was like was a black child. Do you remember the voice? No, no, definitely not. What is your most famous voice that you've done? Mm. Maybe Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter. Okay, can you do that for us? It's like my voice. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you didn't mean change the, it at you all? You mean a different voice? Yeah, yeah, ah, your most okay. famous one that you... I don't know. That you had to create. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's like your for, voice. No, it's it's for cartoons, like... Hi everyone. How are you? And, and who's that? I don't know. Uh m- do you remember uh Fireman Sam? It's it's cartoon. I don't know if it's just a European thing. It might be because it doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, because uh, Fireman Sam is like classic and uh, we we were doing now it's not a fireman, it's a lighthouse guy. I don't know his name. But you know I I'm doing this like for 20 20 25 years. It's so I list. really don't remember anything. But I mean uh, you probably if they put you in front of the mic with that character again it would come back, right? Yeah, right. It's a, it's probably a skill that you don't forget. Before we get carried away, let's look at the comments because people are going crazy there, so Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see is a hey guys question for me can you tell us about this the charizard uh so i think your charizard yeah i think oh, people are talking that's a beautiful story I but love it. we will save it yeah okay so okay. uh martin simek we're gonna talk about charizard because actually that's a i think that's what connected us with uh lukas pokemon yeah but we were connected before but yeah yeah this was definitely our our uh common passion For sure. I have one of the best stories that because you did me a solid. I don't know if you remember and I don't know if we should be talking about it, but McDonald's. Oof. <laughs> so I, tell I, me I, in the chat if you want 
us to tell you about McDonald's and what we did. Yeah. <laughs> I I felt like criminal after that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Duck look has a Napoleon syndrome. What does that mean? Napoleon syndrome is like he, it it's when someone is small or short, but he's not. He's like no, <laughs> he's not. Uh, and that person is angry on everyone because uh, he's short. Not at all. But but that's maybe me. I am short and I'm kind of angry. So you have a Napoleon syndrome. Yeah. That's nice. But that's actually, nice. did you know and guys in the chat historically Did you know how tall Napoleon was? Uh, it's going to be 170. I don't know what He's that means. Not, he was not that short. Either. No, he was average height. Yeah. I think 5'7", which is what you said in your measurements. 170 centimeters. Something like that. He was average height. All right, I can Google it. Yeah. So you can do that. And actually in the age of Google guys there is no reason to be ignorant. <laughs> yeah, Petting Baba 2, I want to see it. Yeah, we all want to see it. Uh n- November 26. Hopefully. Will Please. there be a premiere? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it must be. I want to dress up. I want to thank Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to be on a red carpet. <laughs> where, where are the premieres in Slovakia when uh, when uh, in cinema uh, in uh, no 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 cinema it's a brand. Uh in the, those big cinema places in, in shopping malls. So there you might have it. Yeah. You don't know which one yet. No. But th- there is a one thing uh I hope that uh One day it will be in Slovakia and the other day it will be in Czech Republic because I want to be on the boat premieres but some some paper uh, some, some films are um, at same day how in both countries How much is a ticket to the premiere or well, that's only by invitation I think it's normal price for you it's of course free <laughs> Yes yes Because I am planning to bring my friends and family and uh, my, you know, working guys, <laughs> uh, my colleagues, uh, to a small, small, uh, <laughs> Premiere or party? Celebration? S- no, no, celebration. Uh, small. Um, ke- ke nie vieš slovo, ja, môžeš ja. po slovensky, kamo. Ja neviem po slovensky ani. A ja nie no, tiež. Ne. Čo môžeme robiť? Čínske? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, yeah no in in small theater cinema theater you know aha uh-huh. like uh there's one by tesco lumiere no i mean in modern one so you you're gonna have just, a, a just private a small, screening yeah, yeah ju- just just uh-huh. ah yeah that's yeah. pretty cool but i don't know if it will be i don't know I think people would love it. Look, Michal Vanyo is asking that he's saying that you should have played Jesse in Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, Jesse was a great uh, uh, character. I would love to. Oh man, I don't know if he was great. He was so annoying to me. But that that is his greatness because he played it good. What was his favorite It's word? It's like Joffrey from the Game of Thrones. Oh my god, you I hate, hate I yeah. hate. And that's great. I would love to be hate for the role. But all he said was bitch, bitch, <laughs> bitch, science, bitch. Every other word was bitch. Yeah, but I'm playing the dealers and drug users uh, in Slovak comer- uh, Slovak series. So who was dubbing Jesse? In Slovakia? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe Roman Ferenczyk. No idea. He's like the guy which suits for that role I think but I'm not the director. Ludmila is saying that uh, she's asking if Kashmarok exists in Petting Baba too. Uh yes. W- we were in Kashmarok uh oh first day. The very first day sh- of shooting uh, we were shooting in Kashmarok. Mm-hmm. Um and if If anything from Kashmarok will be here, I don't know because uh, the world Perim Baba 2 uncut <laughs> will be like four hours long. We need the director's cut. <laughs> no, you don't <laughs> want to. Who is Perim Baba in the movie? Uh, 
Perin Baba, like the you actress. Mean actor? Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, Julieta Massina. Is but, she? Uh, she's still with us? No, she. Oh, she man. passed away like thir- 30 years ago. So how is she in the movie? PC and and special effects. Oh wow! And they they cut her from the previous movie. And when she is uh, back to the camera, mm-hmm. they shoot it with a new actress. But how do they get around the legal questions? Because they have to get permission to use her likeness, yes. right? They, they of course, have it because uh, Julieta Massina was a great friend with uh, Jura Jakubisko, mm-hmm. especially her husband, which is uh, director Fellini. So I think the Prava... <laughs> was was uh, really okay but in a way i think it's a great thing that she got to play petting baba again yeah Just but but a lot of people died during the process <laughs> of petting baba <sighs> it's a tragic shooting like a uh, poltergeist mm, i don't think Or so just but natural i i th- mm, don't know if everything was natural but i think yes i think it was a natural death doc Who played with me? He's dead. Duncho? Duncho, Duncho died. Uh, Poor Duncho. He was called uh, uh, Flack. <laughs> Flack. You want to hear the funniest thing? You want to know what is one of the most popular dog names like in Spanish language? Yeah. Like you have Duncho uh-huh. and we have Fidulais. Fidulais? Fidulais. It's like Fidulais. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> maybe my surname is from <laughs> from <Fidulais>. dogs. <laughs> from dogs. Fidulais. Yeah, yeah, but Fidulais. it's it's like Arduncho. Fidulais. Okay. Nice. Let's see. It says <clears throat> this here. Oh, maybe Martin has a great vibe for making good actors. Maybe Lou. Maybe. Maybe. So this British look. Fireman Sam is British. Fireman Sam is British. That's what that's why I have no yeah. idea. And there it. are other series. There is like there is a uh, fireman and postman and I don't know how many these roles. But I like it. I must have been an honor he to w- be he playing. He was my this. hero my childhood. And I remember the because I also I grew up in the states but I always liked watching the Spanish dubbing more than the English. And I uh, yeah y- You had Spanish dubbing in Yeah, for sure. Mexico yeah. Uh, for Latin America, Mexico is the center of dubbing. Uh-huh, okay. Because the accent is neutral. Uh-huh. Because you cannot have ac- you cannot have somebody from Argentina, for example, dubbing Spanish or from Spain because their accents are too strong. Mhm. Mm-hmm. For example, I'll give you an example in Argentina. The word chicken. Do you know the word chicken in Spanish? Polo. Yeah. But it's the the two L's. Bread. The two L's are yo, so it's pollo. Pollo. Yeah, the two L's. So you say pollo in normal Spanish. Yeah. I hope my cat doesn't hear because he knows the word pollo and he goes ah, crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he will attack you. Uh, but Argentinians pronounce it pollo. Instead of pollo, they say pollo. Same thing oh, for the okay. word, like if I say, if you say hubu mm-hmm. in In normal Spanish, it would be callate, mm-hmm. but Argentinians would say cachate. Ah, so Argentinians have a sh. <laughs> so th- they definitely wouldn't make good uh, good people for dubbing. So th- it's always Mexico that has it. So uh, Mexico is Mecca for dubbing, right? Exactly. Now it's shifted a bit because people have learned to to not have an accent so now you have places like Venezuela and people in Mexico they are learning English or they d- they are yeah. I mean it's uh, the US is their neighbor so they they have to right uh let's see uh look uh Vanyo Michal Vanyo told us that Matica Slovenska is the center of Slova culture oh. I I had no idea about it it's the first time that I hear it Yeah, maybe, but it's it's really old building and institution and I I need to do some research on it I, because I, really I honestly don't know if they are doing anything. Mm. And actually guys, you are right in the chat, it's called Napoleon Complex. Yep. For sure. So if we're going to learn English here, it's going to be right, right? So 
Pro How? could you give me your opinion on Ajohorne? <laughs> Who is Ajohor? What is it? Uh, Ajohorne is is a guy on a TikTok. He's like super honest guy. Uh, he's funny and but you know he's oh how to how to say it uh, to be not harsh. Mm. He's simple guy. Mm-hmm. He's really, really, really simple guy. Is he Slovak? Yes. Uh, he's living in východné Slovensko. <laughs> But I love východ. Yeah, and uh, he's making like everyone in in the comments on that videos. Uh, he's like NPC. Um, Slovak NPC. I I don't know why it's a new trend to call everyone NPC uh, on the TikTok, but uh, the most of the people don't really know what truly NPC is. Does he have followers? Yeah, he he have a lot of followers. I will show you maybe. You have to show me. By the way, I did you know I only have one follower on TikTok? Yeah, change it, people. <laughs> give give him follow. No, oh, uh, it's it's a waste of their time because I'm never gonna be active on TikTok. I just don't have the creativity. But you guys can share this podcast because that's um it, it's my dream to interview everybody in in Slovakia. Zajo. Okay. He has a lot of followers. Yeah. Do you, you think know, it's a character or he's actually No, he is actually. He he is actually but uh As I thought, he's honest guy, he's good guy, uh, but I love to uh, not make fun of him, but uh, um, uh, parodying his voice and his impressions, because to do a parody on someone, mm-hmm. it's super hard. You must have a really strong characteristic uh, man or woman to do that because and Ajo he is like that uh not everyone is paro- parodable mm-hmm. <laughs> is he somebody that you know personally no no so no only no, through no, tiktok no. yeah yeah only through tiktok is uh okay Michal, yes, thank you do you say sukromnu aksu yeah uh he mean that in the theater aha aha Sign of a great actor. If people hate your role, you did a great job. That's right. Uh, yeah, but still. What's your character for Penny Baba? Any connection to the previous film rather than the characters for it? Uh, the connection. The, the only connection is that uh, the previous characters like uh, Jakubko uh, Alžbetka are my parents now. So I'm their son. And, And you're picking up the story. The story begins with death of the mother. Oh, man, so, you pulled a Disney? Mm, yeah. That's what Disney does. Yeah, I know. All the time. Jesus. But that's okay because it starts everything. Uh, the the main character is called Lukash also. <laughs> uh, and Lukash need to learn something. So so Perim Baba like uh, i don't know if I can tell this. <laughs> no, don't don't say it because don't don't ruin the movie. Yeah. So basically he's going to the world to find love and 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 uh, <laughs> save everyone <laughs> as he should. By the way, what do you think of the chair? It's okay. You you got it from somewhere or you buy it? Uh, yeah, I just want to know your opinion if you find it comfortable or I have a really uh My my back hurts because uh, I have scoliosis. Oh no! Yeah, right. But I I think it's. And actually, you can take that pillow away. Actually, it's oh, not yeah, supposed to be there. Okay. I, it it's extra. I put it there for no reason. It's expensive <coughs> chair. I don't know. Just does it feel nice or not? I want to sit on on something expensive. It's a nice chair. No, I <laughs> want to be. Du- no, Duglock has this chair. Oh really? <laughs> so it is expensive. <laughs> Hi Dushan. Uh let's see that's I a sign. I love Dushan. I love Dushan. I really love him. Sorry sorry to interrupt you but I love Dushan. He's uh doing really great work. Uh and 
that self discipline is amazing. Do you know what is the most surprising thing for me? No. <clears throat> It's not just Dushan, but is like most of the well known you to yourself. You guys are extremely accessible, nice people. Like, I've never seen you guys behave as like your shit don't stink, you know? Like, it's so surprising because in, let me tell you, in the US, like, you have 50,000 followers, which is just starting influencer, and they believe that there's a God. Yeah. Um, so maybe uh, on Slovakia too, but I don't know. You know, I'm in this business for a long time, and the fame, or how, how I how we call it, I don't know. Fame. It's like uh I I I don't feel pressure of the fame on me anymore because I never felt it. I was starting uh, as a dubbing uh, guy and people know me by my voice from my childhood. And then I start uh, playing in some series and then then came the internet. It was a little bit shocked about the internet because uh, a lot of haters came and mm. I was like, oh, people don't like me. <laughs> But uh, now, if some t- someone send me a negative comment or uh, he's trying to insult me, I'm like, whatever, man. You need to have a thick skin Yeah. to be in this business, right? Yeah, definitely, yes. And actually here... Lou was saying that sorry my English is not so good. Listen Lou, my we are here to learn. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so if you get one thing out of this podcast it's just you know, I always find it Lukas that people learn the best when they do something they enjoy. That's right. And I had a lot of people writing me in the DMs, mm-hmm. people sliding into my DMs now. Oh. <laughs> you're famous now. <laughs> I, no, you are because i have 1,750 men. Imagine those people in your room or uh, somewhere and they are shouting, like, oh, Miguel. I'd have no PC. <laughs> The first thing that began. No. <laughs> But they, um, back to my thought, they were mentioning that they're learning English and it helps them because they really enjoy listening and, and they're happy that they understand. Yeah, without subtitles, so that was freaking surprising for me. Uh I I w- my learning of English started when I uh just playing games, World of Warcraft and other things. World of Warcraft World of Warcraft is really complex for English because you have the basic things here like cooking and uh, I don't know mining and everything like uh, real life. So it was great and Mm, then now or or now I'm learning English when I'm uh, watching films, but with English subtitles. Can be because in some films they are talking about <laughs> what did he say? What yeah, did you say? Some people have really complicated accents. I understand yeah. you completely. I wanted to ask you. <clears throat> so you were mentioning about uh, this business, and I was reading. Uh, in an article, I don't remember where, but it was saying that actually from acting, you actually can't make a living. That in order to to actually make a living, you need uh, your social channels and you need to have collaborations. Yeah. H- how is that possible? That Look, you can make a living from just acting, but you need to do that. I don't do that because no one calls me. No one. Uh, there, there are no castings for for roles in the series or films. Uh, you know, we we uh, in Slovakia, uh, it's like a bubble. Mm-hmm. It's like a bubble, and w- when they are making a new new film or or series, they just oh, we call him, 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 and it's done. There, there is no casting at all. How is that fair? And no, it's not fair, of course. And when I started doing YouTube, uh, then I uh, stopped doing uh, acting because they uh, they w- they are looking at me like, oh, he's YouTuber now. No, I'm not. I was 
starting the YouTube because I have a lack of work uh, in acting business. I want to people to see me on through the videos, through anything, mm-hmm. just to see me, to be on their mind and it goes like different way. And actually you went to acting school, right? If yeah, I'm not yeah, mistaken. Right. Yeah. Are you classically trained then? Uh you mean w- what classic train? Like normal training for acting like proper education. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at that school it was like uh, I was going on Vashamau. Vashamau is uh, uh university for actors. Yeah, it's university. the conservatory, right? It's conservatory, but uh, we were do- we were doing the same things as as the guys on the Vashamau. Like really the same you you practice uh movement on the stage s- dancing and singing and uh playing on piano i don't know how to play piano to di- till this day really <laughs> so how did you pass that class <laughs> i didn't okay i repeat two two times oh god no yeah, yeah but i was there for acting not for piano oh my god you know when the role needs a piano i will learn the piano but i don't have a role to be a pianist what do you think of method acting uh, method acting uh i don't know what you think it's like for example you know um what's this guy who does uh the machinist hmm um, he did batman too ah you mean w- when you lose weight or yeah or for example Jared Leto who yeah. who completely goes crazy that's i think that's great because you can focus on on that one character and you are uh, preparing for the role like f- for uh, one year maybe i don't know but you have paid preparation there is no thing like paid preparation i w- me If if someone told me, "Hey, Lukas, go uh, go to the gym for uh, <laughs> every day in a year. We will pay you uh, supplements. We will pay pay you nutritionist, uh, uh, nutritionist, food, everything." Of course, I will go, and I will be fucking huge by that time sh- of shooting. What if they told you to be in Petting Baba too? You need to go live in the farm for a year. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Uh, that uh, would be hilarious. Yeah, that, that would be, but but uh, they just told me to grow my hair. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> easy enough, right? It says, "Did Jakub?" And by the way, when I'm breaking eye contact with you, it's not that I'm ignoring; it's that I'm checking yeah, the, sure. the chat so as well. I, I'm looking. Uh, Did Jakubisko write Penning Baba too, like recently, or was this planned for a longer time? Because I can't really imagine how it would continue after the first one. Yeah, Martin. Uh, i really don't know when the Jakubisko start uh writing. Mm-hmm. I no. The thing was Jakubisko was planning another film which uh, that film didn't get money from uh, uh, Slovak audiovisual fund, Slovak audiovisual fund uh, that fund giving uh, money to creators. He he didn't he didn't get the money. But then he started, I think, writing the Perin Baba 2 and he mirac- miraculously mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, get get the money, but not the full budget. And that was the thing. Uh, it was going that long way because uh, that fund give like something, I don't know, 50,000 euros. And... Uh, he must uh, show to the font yes we are shooting then he get another money yes we are shooting and another and another so the the whole process was a uh, really long uh, because of this the production yeah doesn't that make it more costly sure it that makes no sense no how come slovak uh, directors and filmmakers don't get more money from the eu Because I, whenever I see uh, Slovak movies, I never see that they got. Well, I rarely see that they got funding from the EU. I didn't know I can get money from you on film. Yeah, yeah, like um, 
very often you will see in Swedish, Norwegian, Spanish movies, especially mm-hmm. um, that they got money from European funds. Uh, y- you know, these funds uh, are like uh, they. I think they they are working like they give you theme. Like we need a strong uh, family. Euro- European family uh I don't know and and we will give you money. Mm-hmm. So you think we the conditions are restrictive? We have our o- own fund, Slovak audiovisual fund. I I don't know about European fund. That's mm-hmm. crazy. <laughs> Maybe it's something to explore. Yeah, Did we can make something. Do you ever think about directing? Yes, but it's it's really hard man you need to, you need to be the educated in directors in director work because mm, you must keep everything in your head you, you must know how to talk to the actors to the whole crew filming crew and you must have your vision if you don't have your vision in your head the film will cost like a lot, a lot, a lot, lot of, of money because uh, you will shoot uh, bullshit scenes and uh, it's really hard to be a director i have an idea for a movie yeah i, I don't know if if i can say it because people might steal my ah, idea yeah i have an idea too i will tell you about my idea okay i but will i will never tell anybody but actually the question is if i say it in this podcast is it protected because then i have evidence that i said it If somebody wants to make the movie, no, no, because, uh, hmm, that's funny thing. Uh, he just uh, need to change the name of the movie, or the character names, and that's it. And that's it. Okay, guys. So I'm sorry you won't hear about my movie, but it's a horror movie. Yeah, and it's terrifying. You, I will tell you after. You know, Pocahontas is is Avatar. I hate, that's another movie that I hate, Lukash. I'm sorry, but but it's true. Yeah, yeah. I Pocahontas know. is Avatar. Have you? S- ha- how many times did you watch Avatar? One. Did you fall asleep? Be honest. I don't know. I was in cinema. No, no, I don't fall asleep in cinema. I went three times, only because of the novelty of 3D. Yeah. I fell asleep three times, <laughs> and the worst. This is the worst that I was sitting next to people I didn't know, and like I. The last time I went, I just woke myself up, <laughs> <laughs> and like two little babkas next to me just looking at me. You know? Babkas are on, uh, were on the film. That's yes, nice. everybody was on the film because it was th- the first time that there was 3D. It was. You remember? Yeah, it was the first, the first 3D movie. Mm, yeah, I saw the Blue IMAX. fell asleep too. High five. <laughs> 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 crazy it's terrible man it's uh, crazy. my girlfriend my my uh, girl, girlfriend uh, falls asleep like instantly the <laughs> the main title is on the screen film starting and she's like <laughs> <laughs> in the cinema or at home no at home oh, okay at least yeah <laughs> that, that would be embarrassing <laughs> that would be oh uh, it's here ludmila said presho say hi hi presho i don't hi, have show You talk uh, Anders. Oh, we don't need that. Zubati will be there. Zubata. Ah, Zubata. Uh, Zubata <coughs> is the main antagonist in Perim Baba, if you know. So he will be there? You can't she. say. She. 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 She was she. Mm-hmm. Uh, but mm-hmm. one funny thing. A uh, guy is playing woman character. How does, that, how, how does that work? He's ugly. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. No, he's ugly. Th- that, but he he's gr- great looking for a film. Yeah. But he's like super grumpy, you know, mm-hmm. in in the face. And uh, there was no other woman looking like uh, Zubata. And Zubata is also changing her forms. Uh, she's young. She's old. She's man, woman. Blah blah. Uh, actually, blah. now that you reminded me, it kind of reminded reminds me of. Uh, Have you seen the Czech movie Kitice? Uh maybe yes. There's this scene with the witch. Mm, no, I don't. Gets the children no. terrifying. 
terrifying witch. I, I, when I was a child, I hated Perimbaba. Why? A film. I was terrified because of oh, Zubata Perimba- and oh, everything. Uh, well, it make, was like super creepy for me. It makes sense. I was afraid of Chucky. Chucky? Yeah. Jesus, right there. I'm afraid of Chucky uh, right now. <laughs> okay, he's going to kill us. Let's see. What is the next question here? Minecraft was perfect for learning English too. Thanks to Minecraft, I know yeah. what is stone block. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. That's very good, Depo. Thanks for sharing that. My ex invited me for Avatar and I can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's, that's why a, he's that's an ex. That's the reason he's ex. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, Miguel, I have a question. How did you watch Slovak movies? Ah, well... I, w- when I first came to Slovakia, I really struggled because I had no friends. And as I told you guys, I still don't have many friends. Ah. And that's story. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, man. So I used to, I used to watch Czech and Slovak movies um, just to kind of mm-hmm. understand the culture of the people, have something to talk about, man. Uh, probably the first movie I saw was uh, Pelišky. Pelišky, okay. Have you? That's great movie. I saw Pupendo I too. Okay. So you watch the, the most beautiful classic films. Fontano Presuzano as okay. well. Because Elan is top for me. Guys, this was like a surprise for me. He just started singing uh, Elan in uh, Domino's Pizza. Yeah, the... I was like, what? Voda like čo ma drži nad vodo. Yes. Yeah, voda čo ma drži nad vodo. Water what helps me... Uh, and float? No, 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 float. Uh, <laughs> you know, bo- uh, this is the thing that I learned so many Elan songs and I have no idea what they mean. E- even when I tried to translate them. Did you know that Elan has English so- songs? They have four albums. Really? Yep. Yeah, and they have a song that's called School Party. And it is Stushkova completely in English. No way. Yes, so I'm going to you'll see I'm going to actually let you listen to it. Guys, I'm gonna put the link for you guys to go listen to it because I don't want a copyright strike. So the sound is gonna go away now while I let uh Lukash listen to it, but I will share the link with you guys. So just give me a second while I remove the sound. I love that question. Is that guy from XXX videos? <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's me. I have big buckle. Okay, no f- first impressions. We just listened to. Sorry, guys, we were muted, but we 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 can't put a copyrighted song. I shared the link in the chat if you want to listen to it. What was that? They they really did in in in, in English. That's they released four albums. There's so many songs that are in English, but they changed the lyrics. This one is actually one of the few that they kept the lyrics. Wow! <clears throat> but actually, it wasn't done completely well because they 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 translate. Like school party, funny time, and I think what they were trying to say is fun time. Ah, okay. But actually, this is a, a good time to teach you guys because there's a there's a huge confusion in Slovak between fun and funny, right? 
fun is that you have a good time zavava mm-hmm. and funny is ha 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 yeah so sometimes they use the they confuse the fun with the funny so they they had a funny time they were laughing <laughs> I, i guess but oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but what did you think what are your first impressions of i'm i'm shocked party? i'm i'm really shocked because i never thought they they will do something like this they did but why is the link not in the chat i don't know Maybe. and i think many slovaks really don't know that they are doing uh, songs in english they were trying to impress the uh, the world it well they went to the uk for a while and they yeah okay i put it there but i don't see it in the chat maybe our chat is stuck or you have uh, maybe some block for links it could be guys i'm sorry if you want to listen to the song it just search it on on google mm. it's called elan school party Okay, my ex invited me. Who's Lukas TC God? No, I'm not. Well, apparently you are. She can be anything, so it's like Yeji. Ah, look, is is working for Zredny and Frola is your full-time job? No. No, no, no. And maybe we will stop shooting next year. No, don't yeah. tell us that. Guys, we don't want that, do we? I don't know. Yeah, uh, because we have uh like some of the guys I don't want to name them. <laughs> It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> don't have a lot of motivation for doing it doing more videos. But uh, maybe now it changed. We were talking like uh two or three months before that uh, we will maybe shoot our last videos this year. Uh the point is we are not making enough money from the videos that's a real shame and actually we were talking about it before but i said don't tell me more because yeah. i want to ask you during the podcast yeah uh, tell us some about more because people think that what you just get a camera and you shoot and that's it but there's more involved yeah th- there is more involved it's it, <laughs> the people are involved the people uh, which n- they are need they need to be p- paid This is shocking to me that I didn't know that you paid everyone. Yeah. Uh when when we have a uh with a video for a client, we are paying uh actors too. When we don't have a client, we are paying just cameraman and and soundman and uh you know other men's and women's uh we which are not on the screen because they are workers they have a uh, plenty of work they don't need our videos it's just another work for them mm. but we need them so of course we pay them and you know when the video for you f- when the one video costs like uh, 2000 from from 2000 to 3 or 4000 euros uh it's like you can never get that money back it's a lot of money yeah we look uh, our our uh, business plan was <laughs> we we make a video we get uh, for that video like i don't know maybe 10k 10 grand forgot about my headphones yeah <laughs> maybe maybe 10 grand we we get uh, for the video okay and from the 10 10 grand we can afford to make two or three videos uh without a partner without someone paying for that video so that was our whole <laughs> business plan and the normal money for our living came from uh, instagram and uh, other things not from vi- video youtube production and wh- what is your most expensive video to date uh it was a music video Uh yes, it was a music video and that video cost like 15 or 16 grand. Was it the Christmas one? No, 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 uh-huh. no, no. It was uh we crashed car there and uh Jesus. yeah, we were shooting in uh, in hospital, in restaurants. We were shooting like for five days. Of course, we must buy that car to crash that car and it was funny because we uh, called the guy if he can crash that car to the tree 
but he was not he was not stunned man he was not stunned man and he didn't tell you that no he came there yeah of course i can do it yeah 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 and where's your helmet where's your neck protection where's anything no i, I did it plenty of times what no 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 man you you are you are not going crash that car without any protection that's that's w- what if you kill yourself this right is now? not a david dobrik video <laughs> no no and it w- it was funny because one of the crew uh, had a helmet uh, for sale mm. in his trunk and so so we take that helmet and we also have uh uh sanitka uh, ambulance yeah. here yeah ambulance here uh and the uh, fireman crew how much did it cost to have an ambulance and i don't know maybe it is like maybe 500 i don't know i don't know right now pricey yeah of course you can you can buy uh, police cars you can buy everything for shooting did you at least make back the the budget for the video no, oh no way never no oh no, yeah We That's we have a thirty million uh, vid- views on one video, mm-hmm. and that video uh, paid us make ma- make us like two or three thousand. Jesus, That's ridiculous. Yeah, because we are on Slovakia. We have a Slovakia uh, rating. You get for one thousand uh, views, you got you you get uh, one dollar. But you need to start uh, making content in Spanish. Mm? Maybe yeah. <laughs> Puta. <laughs> Los for lios. Plata o plomo. Because then uh, it, it makes it's better money actually. Yeah, of course. It, English everywhere too. is better money than uh, Slovakia. It's a shame. But maybe English content. Is Christina and Moimir also paid? Sure. Moimir is paid uh, also for script. Christina is paid for uh, acting because she is not uh, writing anything. We we are making uh, the script together, Moimir, me and Maciej. Well, there was one question people wanted to know how you met the people. Yeah, uh, uh, it was on a f- uh, on a flat in Trnava uh, with uh, hmm. the first thing I was uh, in contact with uh, Exploited, mm-hmm. Pecho Altov. Yeah, exploited uh, declined the podcast. Why? I don't know. He just I I think he doesn't do podcast or interviews anymore. Okay. Maybe in the future. Oh, maybe. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> at that time I was uh, a, a let's call it friend mm-hmm. with exploited. Not anymore. Uh It changed through oh. years, yeah. But uh, that's okay. It, it, that's it happens. Normal. Yeah. It happens. But um, I don't hate him. Just okay. We don't talk like on a friendly. Bi- oh no, on friendly. We are talking friendly. Uh, not regularly. But not regularly. Yeah. Uh, so I I I have come to that uh, flat to Trnava. There was Explo and there was Matej Rebni. And when I saw Matej Rebni, I told myself, oh no, shit, this guy, he's <laughs> doing s- fucking cringe videos. No. So you w- you knew about him? Yeah, I, I saw him. Uh, he was doing like really cringy things at, at start. He, he was copywriting uh, Logan Paul and other guys. It was Vines. Mm-hmm. It was the start of Vines. And he was at that time a photographer. So he's just doing that for fun. He don't know, you know the things. But uh, the people people were watching that, and one day he came to the Bratislava. He moved to the Bratislava from Bitcha. <laughs> from from where? From Bitcha. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking with me, no? No. That's the that, <laughs> that city. Yeah, that city in Slovakia. <laughs> you <Yeah>. bitch. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must visit. Is anybody was, from there? And no, but it was. It, it, Man, it was uh, very funny because uh, we started doing in videos, go to the beach, hot <laughs> do You know, it, I it's would like, love that shit. Yeah, it it, it was, uh, we make beach famous. But okay, so he moved to Bratislava, and he called my girlfriend, my ex girlfriend now. Uh, he called her, and I didn't know that. 
she just called me hey come on pick me uh, i'm on the, this address so i came here i i was uh, sitting in the car and like calling her where are you oh i will be late or you can come up so okay i'll come up to the flight okay and I go there and I saw naked, uh, half naked Matej Zrebny and half naked my girlfriend. And I was like, what the fuck is going on there? There were lights, there were camera. What they are doing? They are shooting porn or what? <laughs> maybe they were right about the XXX. Yeah, maybe, yeah. But no, that was uh, the first video and they w- he was shooting, he was directing the video and I saw him working and... I told him let's try let's try uh, doing it this way or this way and that that was the start of our cooperation w- and we told ourselves let's do it like more professionally how were you so calm to see your girlfriend half naked ex girlfriend no it's okay because uh, i didn't knew she was shooting something mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> i would have lost my shirt where <laughs> there <laughs> to <No>. join them <laughs> no i mean <laughs> lost my shit, ah, <laughs> shit. Not, uh, you, I, no i, I said I shir- shirt uh, it was shirt but i wanted to be pg oh. but it didn't work oh sorry jesus christ i look so fucking tuchni where on the no. camera yeah you look at that m- you are manly or actually it's the chair that's be making me look chunky be a man. it's true <laughs> be a man. and what about uh, moimir what about him How did ah, you meet uh, him? No, oh, it's a uh, I knew him uh, before because my ex-girlfriend uh she was studying with him acting uh, at conservatory but it is Christian conservatory. It's another one. So what is the difference? They do religious movies and stuff? No, they just they just pray before uh, the movie, before, b- before getting before, naked. Before before studying. Before getting naked under yeah, the lights, they, they yeah, have to yeah, pray yeah, 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 yeah. and let this. They have to leave enough space for the Holy Spirit, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my child. This this leads to a difficult question because, <clears throat> look, I was reading a lot about you, and you want to know what the number one article that kept popping up was? No. Your engagement. Ah, my engagement. Uh, engagement, yeah. So what is the story that if you can share? Yeah, I can, sure. What happened? Uh after engagement or, be- or before that? So this is what I read. Yeah, of course. So <laughs> <laughs> No, but I mean no. what I read was that you just said in the car I'm buying a ring tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, we were we were uh listening. Yeah, we were listening to a radio station uh antenna rock i know it yeah and i i told my ex-girlfriend uh, this thing if they play the next song linkin park the next day i will buy you a ring and uh, ask you and what they did they played linkin park and i don't google it before really I swear. it was like that So they played I don't know which song but it was Linkin Park and I was uh, like okay we were together seven years at that time or six years so I bought that ring next day and asked her uh, <laughs> at the parking lot <laughs> very romantic it, yeah it is in my car yeah uh Opel Corsa which is most romantic car you know sounds like breaking bad Yeah, what <laughs> girl d- don't want to be uh, engaged in Opel Corsa? Jesus, it's like a dream. Andrew Tate dream. Fuck that guy. <clears throat> she so said yes. She said yes, of course, because it's me, you know. Mm-hmm. Would you say no? No, yeah. I wouldn't say no. Yeah, I hope that. So, and we broke up, but after a few years after that. So you were just engaged, there was no date no, in there? No, 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 no. But... Lukas, I have to say, I liked your ex-girlfriend. Yeah. I thought she was fine and she was cool. But I love your new girlfriend. Yeah, she is great. She is fucking amazing. I know I've only met her once, but... Yeah. You went you went from a Corvette to a Tesla truck. Ooh. If that makes sense, if the analogy that makes, makes sense. R- yeah. That makes... R- <laughs> 
really great sense. Yeah, that's true. I I love I I love her. Tell yeah. me about her because maybe people don't know her that uh, well. So uh, I'm dating now a girl from Orava, from Mutne. It's like uh, I don't know if Mutne is city or a village, but I think it's city. Even if it is a village, you gotta call it a city. Yeah, it is city. You know, city. There is nothing here, but okay. <laughs> Only calves, really. And she's vet. There, tell me that word, please. Just a vet veterinarian. 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 Vet. It's complicated word. Just say vet. Vet. She's vet. No. <laughs> she. She's. You know, vet like. She's a vet. Yeah, yeah. Animal vet. Yeah, animal vet, but she's, you know, wet, wet. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Guys, are there any children uh, listening? Uh, Disre- disregard that, please. Beep. Don't listen to the bad man. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you gave me candy. Yeah. Take that. Thank you very much. I love them. They are from Greece. Uh, my mother uh, brought me from Greece because I uh, I told her to do that. Oh, actually, did you want to give me just a couple? No, you can keep them. You have more? No. Yeah, so I'm not going to keep them. I'm just just give me a few, mm. please. No. I can't eat them all anyway. I, I'm a diabetic, first, so first I will die. You're diabetic? Yeah. No. That's true. Why would I be joking about that? So just give Why? me a few. <laughs> Why uh, I don't why know. Are you <laughs> Jesus doesn't love me. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> what can I tell? No. But I can't have that many sweets. Take your candies. But yeah, uh, your girlfriend is amazing. Yeah, she she's animal vet, and she's amazing. She's a hardworking girl. She's honest. She's uh, loving. She loves me, she loves our dog, and uh, she's super cute. We are playing games together. She has to still uh, check my cats. Do a full yeah. checkup of the of my cat. Yeah. She must come back. and. Does she know how to trim their hair? Uh, I think yes. She must, right? Yes. yes I right. need her help because uh, especially the main coon gets matted hair. Okay. But the cats are really dangerous. She She's little bit afraid of cats mm-hmm. in in work because they are scratching and biting and everything and one time i uh driving her uh, for the Im- uh, to the emergency because a uh, cat uh, bite her cat to the, to the hand they they can be really vicious yeah sure i had a cat in the past named killy killy did you know that he actually had to get kicked out of the vet office because they couldn't handle him really he was the most aggressive cat With other people, with uh-huh, me, okay. he was a sweetheart, but mm. he just hated people. Yeah. Let's go back to the questions because uh, they're slowly filling out. You studied, yeah, he said before that he studied in college acting. Lukas, do you still play in Marquisa? I loved it. Uh, not now. I was playing in uh, neighborhood. Panelak? No, no, no. It's I, I, I'm trying to translate that. Susetske prípady alebo rodinné prípady, family cases. Family cases, neighbor neighbor cases. Is it know. like a courtroom drama? Uh, yeah, <coughs> it, it's super low cost projects, like like super super low, and they are uh, still um, repri- reprisu, uh, rerunning. Rerunning, yeah, they are still rerunning the show, and it in it's, it's driving me crazy because uh, I hate it. Lukas, um, maybe some tips for me if I want to become an actor. In Slovak television. Yeah. What do I need to do? Mm. How can I get my break? You are gay m- or straight. I can be whatever is required. So be a gay. I That'll get me in? Better chance. I'm surprised because I thought that society was moving away f- here. But No. But no. You, d- you don't tell anybody that you are gay. You are a secret gay. Just to, you know, make some moves on some people. And that'll get work. There. Now I'm just joking. But m- maybe if I'm, I don't know. I can't tell. Is, I, are there any gay actors in Slovak television? Sure. Who? 
Oh, I can't tell because uh, they are, closeted. They don't have coming out yet. Mm. Uh, and they are like super famous now. And uh, I guess you will have to tell I me. I respect that. You will have to tell me off. Yeah, yeah, I will tell you. The podcast. Yeah, sure. But besides that, is there anything else I can do? I w- I want to be in something like uh, Look, Panelak. Yeah, Panelak is not uh <laughs> Is yeah, that running anymore? No, they What? stopped it like years ago. Man, no, I would be great for telenovela. You can register to to some pages uh for castings. Uh, even if I told you there are no casting, that's true, but you can you can play uh in compars uh, uh, extras. Mm-hmm. Play as extra. And I think maybe we may try it. Yeah, you should try it. Why not, Lukash? Do you no? no uh, does it mean we will n- no longer have the YouTube uh, since YouTube isn't paying well for Slovakian YouTubers? Look, uh, if I if I am uh, Asimister or uh, or Dushan, mm, that content can be is doable with. So, so uh, with a little budget, you just need tech and and yourself. We are doing uh, scripted things, which needs time. W- we need people. So mm, I don't know what what will come in future. I hope we will don't uh, stop shooting. But I hope you will go into promise. acting. Maybe that, that Act. will be great for me. I would love to come back to acting because uh, I'm doing a short sketch on TikToks and these things and maybe if everyone from our group will be happy with their other job because Maciej is uh, making uh, video uh, so- songs mm-hmm. so video songs and something like th- that makes him happy uh, for me my happiness is from acting in films and series and for Moimir he's still like mm, looking for his happiness mm-hmm. in this uh, how old is jobs. he he's 34 i think 35 there's still time he's he's great he's really great uh, he's smart he can do anything but uh, you know he he's actor also he studied uh, that too but As I told you, there are no castings. Uh, if you are um, not uh, pushing your head to someone's ass, you And you're not getting work. No, no. Whose ass do I need to shove my head into? <laughs> Type it in the chat, if you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will tell you after. Okay, I guess I will learn all the secrets. Yeah. After the podcast. Yeah. Uh, let's see there. The, uh, <clears throat> what kind of job? Do we already discussed that. How did you get into Rodine Pripadi or Kauflanat? I I love I love the Kauflanat. No way. It's it's one of the few that I didn't skip. Really? Because I laughed so much. Ridiculous. And it it was like yeah, it was ridiculous and I uh, and I mean it to be ridiculous because the agency came to me with that idea that oh, we are making a Justin Bieber. And I was like Okay, but I'm Lukas Verlies. I can't be just Justin Bieber and be like Justin Bieber. Mm. Justin Bieber needs to be like super uh, cringy and super annoying. Annoying, and that's the character. That's that's no n- not me at uh, at that point. So we were starting start uh, starting writing that like uh, the character like that and. Child love it, yeah. Children love it. There's so far. There's two people that I realize can make great ads. You and Macho, Vlad. Ah, okay. Have you ever thought of collaborating with him? Uh, maybe someday. I am. I am open to anything. You know. Because he made he made some freaking great ads too for Swappy. That was the other time that I didn't click away from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that service with he's making his character Vlad. Yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Don't and, uh, and how how did I come to Rodine Pripadi? Yes, uh, you know I was studying acting and uh, Slovakia is really small and 
every director knew about me and you know it's like we don't have uh, enough actors let's call Lukáš or, or someone else because in Slovakia the rodine prípady uh, playing normal actors mm-hmm. in other uh, states or countries uh, it's played by normal people that is the concept because at some point you are looking to the camera and you are uh, so talking something like I was very angry. She cheated on me. And it has no point. Mm-hmm. And that's the concept because normal people don't know how to act and it needs to be told to viewers uh, how his, to feel. Uh, his emotions at that time. But, uh, you know, it's licensed program so we need to do the same. Mm-hmm. It's strange. What a shame. But I know this concept and they use... Also, it would be weird that you are every week as a different person, no? Mm, yeah. With some different issue. Yeah. How many times can your wife cheat on you? What? <laughs> no, I mean well, uh, <laughs> from the show. <laughs> Not there. Yeah. But any time. As uh, many times. Many eh? times. As she wants. Ludmila is telling us that her German shepherd, Duncho, barely lets the vet give him shots. Yeah. Mm. I know uh, my girlfriend told me that... Uh, when she asked the owner of the cat or dog, is she biting? And mostly the owner uh, tell this, no, no, he just don't like vet- vets. Okay, okay, that's the info. And uh, she tied them or, or, or sleep them or a- anything because it's really dangerous. Yeah, yeah, c- cats can be extremely vicious, more than dogs. The animals are, are really not comfortable in that position because, you know, it's like scaring them. And That's why I have uh, Maine Coon and Ragdoll. Those are, uh, Ragdoll, hmm? he will never do anything. Oh, okay. He has no aggression in him. No? Uh, they breed it out completely. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they actually, Ragdolls, the, the dark one, mm-hmm. they can actually not live outside because they will die. Because they are curious, they have no fear, yeah. and they don't feel pain. So easily. Like it has to hurt for them to feel pain. So oh. they cannot survive. But that's not good. Because you know if he's, uh, if, if he's uh, having some pain or uh, yeah. you don't know. You need to be very careful with yeah. them. But yeah they were bred like that. Oh. Do you think Slovak television serials are good quality? Man I don't know if, if this question is for me or for you. Yeah. Tell, tell your opinion. Uh, I don't think so. I think they don't put a lot of effort into them. And they, they're putting a lot of money into these concepts that just, they just buy a concept and they repackage it. And st- there is no creativity. 100% true. So. When I was there and I was asking them if if I can write them something up, down, so... We can write you. We can write you something, and they told me, "No, no, we will buy uh, license. We'll buy the license and we'll reshoot it just like that." There's no ambition because then you make a great concept and you can sell the license. I, I think. think I think they they uh, are in fear, you know, of of new things and everything is about money. If they lose a, a big money on a project. Uh, i don't know. It's it's a bad situation. I can imagine. So, Lukas, we're actually an hour and 23 minutes into it. The Ooh. question is, do you want to continue to the two hours or you are tired? It's up to people. People do. I can do this to the morning. Do right? you want us to continue? And actually... Sue so said, yeah, first seasons were good. Yeah. I like Novi Život. What does Moimir do if he can do acting? Uh, he's working in uh, Slovak radio and he's uh, writing for some people some scripts and, and those things. And sometimes he's playing in some series. Yeah. Can you tell us more about this Lift Fund Award that you received? Oh, that one. Oh, that's long ago. 200. No, 2002, 2008. Some, some, I, I, I didn't write the year down, but uh, yeah. but I know that you were... were part no, in the no, it, it's like... 
uh, I don't know how to tell. Mm, rozhlasová hra, it's like radio. Radio play. Mm-hmm. And for that, it's like it's like that big, but without uh, screen. And I love uh, roz, uh, rozhlas games. How to tell? I don't know how like it's called. Radio games or what? No, you. It's like. Mm, so what do you do? <clears throat> okay, you are you are reading script with emotions, with everything, with the music and everything in that. It's not a uh, audio book. It's like storytelling. Maybe storytelling, yeah. But but in Slovak nation. But, but I I, know, I think I know what you mean because this is this was something that was popular back in the 1920s, 30s in the US. Yes. Before like really television took off. Yeah. So for so this this concept works. Uh now we are doing it still now but uh it's like one project at, uh, <laughs> in three months uh, for me mm-hmm. for me I don't know how other uh, actors but at that time there was a child program with those things stories stories I know I the traditional way is like there's a do 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 Oh mama, I'm going to school. Do 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 do. Yeah. Do something. Yeah. You are going to school? Ha. Do 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 do. Yes, I want to go to school. But you are a dumb son. You can't go to the school. Oh, daddy, you are so funny. No, I'm not. Come <laughs> here and bring me your belt. No. Yes. <laughs> do 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 do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. It's I like listening to those but yeah. tell me about the 15 PlayStations because you were the topic of envy by many gamers in Slovakia and probably Czech Republic too 15 PlayStations at home yeah it, just did you keep one yeah i <laughs> i kept one it was like uh from from uh, plano if i can say that mm-hmm. I don't have sponsors. It okay. doesn't matter. Uh, I am. Um, I have. They. They are my sponsors, right now. And uh, I. I told them. Listen, no one. No one can get. Uh, uh, I think the screen goes off. Oh. Oh. What happened? Here? What happened? Ah. What happened? Camera is. I think off. Camera. Sorry, guys. We are starting the camera now. Well, that. That was really weird. We lost the camera, guys, so we're bringing it back. Where is our camera? It's probably because we were talking about beating kids. <laughs> <laughs> the camera is children. The camera didn't like it. So. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We had a okay. hiccup there. I, I think it's because it got overheated. It's kind of warm here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, is. it is. I'm hot. Do you want something no, colder s- to drink? No, it's okay. I'm okay. So, uh uh I have an idea that n- n- no one has PlayStation 5 at their home. It's like you can't buy it any anywhere. And they told me, "Oh, w- we will have a shipment of 15 of them." Mm. And I I just ask him "You need to sell them at that moment right up or you can bring it to my place and I will do things with it. So I have like uh, three or uh, three or four days, 15 PlayStations at home and it was like super huge mountain of of PlayStation 5 and I was like a PlayStation 5 god at that moment. I have a confession to make, uh, Lukas. It, I'm not proud of this. It's Planio Electro, right? Yeah. And they have a shop near Body Mall, right? They have. Oh, that's Electro. That's different. That's uh, uh no, that's that's different. Pla- oh, Planio okay. Electro. So the one near Body Mall is Electro. So I don't think it's Body Mall. Near Body Mall, it's is this shop. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I don't know if, if there, what there was. And what I'm going to confess to you now, I've never told anybody. So. I was actually during this time looking for a PlayStation. Yeah. And I couldn't find one so I, I thought I'd buy the peripherals, right? So I reserved a headset. 
mm-hmm. that controller. And they called me from the shop, which I think it's Electro, I don't know, to come pick it up. So I went to the store and I said, I'm here for the PlayStation. Gave them my name. And then the guy comes back with the PlayStation and the headset and the controller. I'm just like, what the hell is happening? Is Am I in a show? Am I being punked? Or what's going to happen next? And he rings me up. Luckily, I had enough money on my account. Yeah. I pay for it. And I get the hell out of there as quick as possible. Because I hadn't reserved the PlayStation 5. No? No. <laughs> listen, oh. l- listen to this. Immediately get in a taxi, go home. Maybe about five minutes later, I get a phone call. Okay. And, and and the guy the guy from the shop is like, could you please bring the PlayStation Five back? Like, we need it. I'm like, I'm sorry, I I already <laughs> I already opened it. Yeah. He's like, okay, let me, we'll call you back in a few minutes. He calls me back again in five minutes, and asks if I want to. Uh, no, tells me that I can still return it. That it's okay mm-hmm. that I open mm-hmm. it. It's yeah. not a problem. Yeah, of course it's not a problem. I said no. Um, I want to keep it. Like I already. It's already part of my furniture. You know, it looks nice on my counter. And the guy's like, he's keep, he keeps calling for maybe the next 30 minutes, threatening me that if I don't bring it back, they're going to call Sony and they're going to block the PlayStation. What? Of, of course, uh, I wrote my friend who who's a lawyer and they're like, you paid for it? Yeah, so th- then what? They can't do anything once you walk away with the receipt. So... It's crazy. That's how I got my PlayStation 5. Lucky man. Lucky man. But that's a crazy story because you paid it. Of course, you don't have a reservation. Blah, 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 but you paid for it. Yeah, I think it was. It wasn't even reserved for a customer. I think that one of the guys at the shop just wanted to buy it. Yeah, maybe. And unfortunately, I bought it. So. They will write to Sony to block the PlayStation. Would you have returned it? No. Right? Of course not. Guys, put in the chat if you would have returned it. But screw that. Okay, I found and the now question. Now is the time. <laughs> no, <laughs> you started this and you must tell about uh, McDonald's. Oh, God. And about Charizard, too. And I, I have some McDonald's card. Oh, wow. Uh, please. So, so the the McDonald did you have the full one right? Uh, yeah, full McDonald's right? Yeah, but do I have the one? I know that you were looking for Pikachu for. Oh, it was like half pain in the ass for Pikachu. But finally, I gave it to you. Yeah, he's here. I think, I think maybe this is. It's the only you Pikachu you have. Or I have a two of them. You had more now. Yeah. Congratulations. The H- Hinka bought some uh, some packs in McDonald's, like two, and of course in one of them was a Pikachu. But before that, uh, we spent how much money? I don't even want to think about it. No, think about <laughs> it. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> so here's the story. Uh, obviously, both Lukash and I are extremely addicted to Pokemon cards. Yeah, like unbelievably addicted. And McDonald's released limited edition cards around the world. They sold out everywhere. And then Slovakia released them. Yeah. And we were thinking about what to do. Lukash got a tip from one of his friends. This is a really hot tip that they were getting ready to release those cards. And I think we knew three days ahead, right? Something like that, yeah. And he found out because one McDonald's accidentally sold a few packs or a box or something like that before. Uh, I don't know the full story of that, but uh, we knew that uh, because the community is really small, but well connected. Mm -hmm. So Lukas told me about it and I'm like, okay, we have to go to McDonald's and find them. Yeah. So I I I think you can tell the rest of the story because... This is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is like you can. I'm gonna look like at uh, valuable uh, cards. Oh, I'm gonna look at these while. Yeah. So so. Stuff. Miguel just just sent me a PM and uh, it was like 
22 it was maybe something before midnight i don't know it was like 10 30 or 11 yeah, 10 30 yeah. so so i i go to the car go to the miguel's place and we were like riding around bratislava mcdonald's drive drive ins <laughs> and we we were asking for cards but when they <laughs> when they ask okay how much packs do we want because they can sold uh, they can sell us uh, only packs without uh, uh, hum- hamburger and and drinks only the packs for the price one pack was uh, two, two euro two euro two really or more i think it was more i don't know i i, I think it I was two maybe two I, I okay think it maybe was two. two because so all of the all of the toys are always two euro yeah so so we told them Okay, we want <laughs> you. you <laughs> <laughs> This crazy man just take wall boxes, two boxes, two boxes full of cards, and oh, I, I uh, how much card uh, w- was in that box? You sold it? Already? No, no, of course you not. They, it? I still have the two boxes. Oh they God. they will be actually they're going now, you know, each of the boxes they're going for about 5000 in stock X. 5000. 5000. <laughs> yes. For a, a sealed box on stock X. And because there is no there is no, there are no more boxes like I I I Oh fuck, why I didn't I, order I, the I box. told you 17 times no. Lukas buy a box. No. <laughs> the problem was you know what was the problem. Yeah, I know, but you buy all the boxes. This guy buy all the boxes before they ban that shit. Yeah, they probably banned it because of us. <laughs> We were the reason because the McDonald's manager uh, ma- managers uh, calling between them uh, between them around the Bratislava that some crazy guys are <laughs> buying uh, Pokemon cards in in large numbers in and my friends and Miguel buy boxes <laughs> and one box I'm cost so sorry, No I'm it's so okay sorry. it's okay five grand oh okay <laughs> but you completed your collection <laughs> <laughs> Yes yes but uh, how much you pay for that one box 300 300 euro And now it's worth 5,000 euro. That's, so. a, that's Andrew Tate shit. <laughs> And uh, this is what people don't get. They're like, oh, how could you spend 600 euro on Pokemon cards? Well, now that's 10,000 euro And in the bank for a rainy day. And it's like a year before, a year ago? Something like that. But that's it what happened. It must be because I'm with Henya uh, for a year and a half. So, uh-huh, yeah, so. so it must be like something like here. So you bought... A box for 300 two boxes two boxes or 600 <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> jesus that's crazy yeah 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 but it's happened with a lot of thing things lukash like you can see like you notice that i have a lot of collectors yeah stuff here you remember when amiibo came out amiibo 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 from nintendo ah, the, the, yeah the little figures yeah. well those came out and they cost 12 euro and mm-hmm. 95 cents The original first first edi- uh, first round of figures it was maybe about 12 of them. Mm-hmm. I bought all 12 of them, so do the math. I don't know how how much that is. Yeah, 110 something like that. Yeah. And I sold it maybe two years later for something like 950 euro. Stonks yeah miguel you are true investor that's that's true thank you yes i am when it comes to nintendo stuff all this stuff will be worth a lot one yeah, day it will uh, yeah that game boy especially in box oh my god i have a super nintendo and a nintendo in box uh-huh aside from these but unsealed in- no no oh, see, uh, no no unsealed, unsealed yes yeah. yes but yeah they're gonna be they're gonna do great So that's what we did, and that's why I, I'm always so in debt to Lukash because he was driving me around at midnight <laughs> <laughs> looking for cards. It was crazy <laughs> night. It was like you don't go drinking, you don't go uh, partying, partying, and girls and drugs and stuff. You are going to buying a Pokemon cards in McDonald's. That's 
Yeah, that's us. But you remember what we did for the next two days? No, <laughs> <laughs> guys, we we spent so much money on those Pokemon collection. I personally sp- uh, spent like maybe one thousand euros, maybe yes, maybe more. I don't know. Yeah, we went and s- and bought more. Yeah, we went to the. <laughs> we tried it. We tried day t- uh, day after we tried again in another McDonald's and they were like and they were like no no you you must buy world package <laughs> of the happy meals. happy meals and we were like what are we going to do with but we we meals? still found a place remember we were still able to buy yeah uh 100 euros worth mm-hmm. 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 we pulled it off we were able to buy more but they had an email from from the head office not to sell to to Lukas and me yeah <laughs> <That's> crazy <laughs> like if you see the Slovak actor and this scary brown guy don't sell them don't sell them <laughs> whatever you do don't sell them man but now people want to hear about the Charizard so yeah. that's that's your story to tell and I'm gonna go find Charizard while you tell yeah, that story so so it was a dark night <laughs> no it wasn't uh we were like uh i don't know how it started that you No, you saw my story, right? About Pokemon. Card, about yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. Miguel uh, sees my stories about Pokemon cards and he sent me PM that he have some cards. And I was like, okay, so bring them. I can I can uh, take an eye on them and tell you the price of the cards because uh You know, ah, we we lost camera. We lost camera. Sorry, it's over overheating, guys. Yeah. Again? Yeah. Uh, it's probably too warm. Yeah, never mind. It's okay. So we'll, we'll get it back. Just a so the next day, we met at uh, Au Park in Starbucks, and. He's showing me his cards, the the first edition cards and and base set cards and jungle set cards and fossil. And these card these cards were from from my childhood. Yeah, this is my binder, right? So th- these were not these are from the U.S. First time they were released. And your collection is really crazy. Well, I was a good kid because I I saved my stuff. Yeah. Th- That is a rare because uh, as a kids we were playing with them and changing them and uh, scratch them and writing on them and doing shit with them and uh, <laughs> in our adult <laughs> adulthood we are crying that <laughs> you're regretting but actually I gave you all of my jungle yeah I have it all that have stuff. A, at home there at home because I have uh, more albums but you know I can't take home <laughs> with me <laughs> But those are th- those are worth a nice amount of money. Those so cards. this is that, the that was Charizard. Miguel knowing that I am collecting Pokemons. He secretly put I think thi- yeah, this card in his pocket. And he's asking me, "Hey Lucas, do you have a Charizard yet?" I'm like, "No, because the Charizard is like super rare and you can't get it and it's super expensive." And he take this card from a pocket, gave it to my arms, and I was like looking at the Charizard, and I'm looking back at Miguel, back at Charizard, and I just I had no idea what dude, the why the hell he's looking at me like that. Dude, do you know what are you giving to me? And he was like, What is Charizard? No, this is a shadowless Charizard because This Charizard don't have shadows. I don't know if you. They they c- may, ah. maybe they can Google it. You it's, see the picture? It's a printing error. Yeah. Actually, we can it's compare. Edition. We can compare because I have the normal. Yeah, here are no, no not a shadow. Anywhere on that picture is there are there is no shadow. So here's the. And it's called Shadowless Charizard, and it's a yeah. special edition. You can compare them both. Yeah. So, this is Charizard with shadows. I have a shaker. You 
see that shadow? Right right here. Near here, here. So here's shadow and here is not. So this one is more valuable. And and more rare. I don't know the price right now of this Charizard. It's a pretty penny. But I have to get it graded. Yeah. Which and sorry. Mm. As I'm looking for this condition, I think it could be a solid nine. We will see. Because it's hard now to get cards graded, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the edges are a little bit uh, white, you know. Yeah, it, it has white marks here. Yeah, that probably so invented. Maybe, maybe seven eight or eight. Or or nine. Seven or eight, yeah. It's old card. But it was like shock for me. I was looking at that card. Oh my god, a shadowless Charizard. You I can't uh, take it from you. And yeah, Miguel, th why? thank thank you why? for your honesty there. And Miguel, why, why? Because it's fucking shadowless Charizard. You can buy a small car with that. <laughs> maybe I should have. Actually. eBay Miguel would make a lot of money if uh, he would sell Pokemon cards and his all tech collector. Of one course. day, one day, one day, guys. But actually, <laughs> or eight euro. actually, it's not a good business to sell on eBay because they take so much. Um, yeah. Commission. That's first, and the second thing is I don't know if you know that there's a limit to how much money you can receive on PayPal per year. There is. Yeah. When I w when I was selling actively, I c I think it was. After two thousand, you have to start paying some taxes. Mm, okay, uh, okay. Stop dripping. No, it's it's more than seven hundred. Couple thousand. Yeah. Now uh, I can check it uh, really fast. Do, 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 so that's th that's our Pokemon story. Yeah, it it was like miracle because I saw that card in my hand, and. It's my. It was my first contact with that card, and now you know. Yeah, that it exists. Shadowless Charizard. Price, price. Yeah. Mhm. Mm How yeah. much is? Wait a second. If you have a PSA ten, which I don't. Which you don't, but if you have, just get get me tip. Tip Nisi. Guess. Guess. Yeah, guess. If I had a who, probably it will be worth a hundred thousand. No, no, less, no? less. Because you know Logan Paul or what? Paul Logan or what's his face? He has a ten yeah. shadowless first. No, first edition. That is first edition. Yeah, and that's worth what three million? Yeah. So this is thirty grand. Thirty thousand for that yeah. great ten. So nine point five is ten grand. Nine mm -hmm. is five grand. So eight. it could it could be between a couple thousand. Up yeah, to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ungraded is three hundred and thirty one. Well, I mean from a piece of paper still. Yeah. But uh, at seven, uh, the grade seven is a thousand. Eight, grade eight, it's two thousand. So but I wonder, so. I wonder how much that the whole first collection is because I have the whole first Can base set here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the base set that's complete. That's crazy, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That's good stuff. But it's n it's not a first edition. It is no, it's but it is the it is the yeah. Base it is much. Um, it's pretty common here. I think that you could buy a box and you would get that Machamp. Uh, yeah, but you know, the box of the first edition basic <laughs> cards are, is like a uh, half million. Mm, so maybe wait with the cards from... <laughs> but actually, I think that even the promo cards I have in the front yes, there... Yes, those promo cards are cool. I gave you a few of them. No? Yeah, yeah. I kept them all. Like these, when you went to the movie, when the first Pokemon movie came out, you'd had to get them from the cinema. Mm, yeah, you can you can Google each uh, each one of them. You can you imagine. Uh, we will. Yeah, you can Google it uh, for price because there is a lot of markets. I think the market. Uh, w 
what's the name of the market? I will check it after. Pokemon Marketplace. We have yeah. a few more questions. Yeah, bring them on. Surfing Pikachu, I love that Pikachu. When are you going to be in Recast again? Recast? That's question for you. Oh, no, no, that's not... I haven't been in Recast. I, you know, oh, wait, wait. neither. Where did I... Dushan! <laughs> Dushan! What is happening? <laughs> Why we are not on Recast? Uh, it's number one podcast now. Ah, yeah, it is. Question. Dude... You get 10 of my cars, not new ones for that. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. <laughs> did did your attitude towards people or fans change when you became famous? No, 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 no. I I love when, er, when anybody uh, came to me and asked for a photo or, or just small talk or talks. I love it because that thing and at that moment when I have a bad day it it can switch my uh, emotions and I'm like a new uh, like you know they give me the energy and, and I love it I some people get really tired of fans uh yeah some sometimes it is uh, really uh, like uh, mm, uh, energy consuming mm. uh, especially when you are on a big event uh, where are many people and there is alcohol and everyone is drinking and everyone starts doing like this oh come drink with us come drink with us and I'm like no 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 I I don't drink so much mm. normally but they can be really mm, aggressive aggressive and really aggressive They li- like take my hand and grab me and come, come. No, you must, you must. I don't like this behavior. I like normal guys. Uh, they they came. Can I take a photo? Of course you can. Yes, we can talk. We can be uh, telling. A, we can tell jokes together. We can make photos, make anything. But just don't push chill, too right? Hard. Yeah, yeah. Just chill. I guess it's hard for people to. Do you have any crypto, mash crypto? Oh shit, don't ask me that because <laughs> you know. Po slovenski, otázka bola. Uh, no, mám. So I I must answer in Slovakian. Uh-huh. Áno, mám krypto a, a je to trošku problém, lebo pred nedávnom som ho som ho proste predal. Mal som šibu. A akurát teraz vystrelila hore. Čiže, pokiaľ chcete, if you want to invest in crypto, just ask me when i sold when i selling um, crypto because day or two days after that uh, coins are going like to the moon, to the moon. <laughs> no really i did it five times it was all five times it was the same i was lucky with shiba you know and yeah. doge mm. i was very lucky because at that time i was i injured my coccyx my tailbone So I was on sick leave for six months mm-hmm. and my employer only covered two months full uh-huh, salary. Okay. So for four months, I didn't have any income. I, no, I, I lie. I maybe had about 590 euro. Yeah, that's my normal social. year. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I like know. that was my hypotheca yeah, that I, I was paying. I so luckily, I had the vision to listen to Reddit and follow Reddit and then sell at the right time. It was beautiful. Yeah. But you got stuck with the bags. You made a lot of money, right? Yeah. That's great. That's great because uh, I I have like 65 millions of Shiba. And so keep it. No, I, I already sold them. And they and like two days uh, before it goes like pew, up. Right now? Yeah. How much is Shiba now? I don't know, but I, I was crying because... Let me check because I um, I sold it before, but I still kept 19 million. Oh, so it, it can be like 1,000 euros by now, maybe? No, no, it's... No, no, it's... Yeah. 
No. Yeah. How much? 300. No. You mean Doge, maybe? No, I mean Shiba. So, I don't know. You have 90 so. million? 19 million, yes. 19? Mm-hmm. Ah, 19. Not so, 90. Nine, ah, okay, yeah. 19, yes. 19, yes. Yeah. I, I heard you that you have 90. But still, not bad. Yeah. Next <coughs> question is, Tore je tvoj op... So sorry just to tell you I, I sold it like here oh god or like, or like here and <clears throat> just don't sell no so did you hear the question no 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 repeat that please thank you ktori je tvoj najobljubenejši film aha ktori je moj najobljubenejši film what is my favorite film Uh, hmm. Lord of the Rings. Which one? That's top that one, but mm-hmm. I think the last one. Yeah, the last one. Did you like The Hobbit? Mm, no. <laughs> At first, no, but I'm I'm okay with that now, and I'm afraid about that new. Amazon thing. Uh, yeah, it hasn't been announced. I mean, they, they, they we don't have a release date yet. No. We do for... But there are um, already a lot of uh, trailers and photos and I saw that g- girl wearing uh, a mail. Like, it's n- no, no, it was not chain mail. It's like armor. Mm-hmm. Uh, how it's called? It's uh, like fish. Uh, fish net? No, 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 no. Fish pattern mm-hmm. in armor and uh, oh, scales? You mean? Yeah, scale, scale armor. Okay, scale armor, mm-hmm. and it's it's fake scale armor, and I- in in Lord of the Rings you have the real armor, re- uh, like real swords, because. Uh, In America, you you don't uh, shoot films with the real uh, swords, and in Slovakia, yes, definitely not now. After especially even real guns, after what after happened to Walden, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what a yeah, douche, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. what a douche. So listen, uh, Lukash, there is still so much to talk about, but I think we need to limit it to two hours. Yeah, but I officially would like to invite you for uh, next visit. That will be great. So you are welcome back to the podcast. And guys, uh, I want to thank you for, for staying with us. I think mostly we had a consist- consistent amount of people. Before we finish, I would like you to leave the audience with a message to them. So you can... I, I, I will leave the message. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this, uh, the, oh. the last message Sorry, is Sorry, I was, I was reading a oh. co- comment. So what does it say? Before I, I we don't know. <laughs> I don't understand why do English podcasts are so underrated at Slovakia. Even every teen can practice their language skills. Uh, well, you know what? I, people seem to be liking the concept. I received a lot of positive feedback about having Slovak people talk in English. Yeah, I love it. And actually, how do you feel? Great. You had no issues? No. And you were like, oh, I don't know. I told you. No, no. Uh, I was just uh, insecure about my English because uh, some of my... Yeah, r- like right now. I, I'm losing words. You know, I'm cycling myself in my head. I want to tell something, but... What was the word, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so maybe this is a good time to also give people a tip in the audience is when you don't know the word that you want to use, just describe the situation. Yeah. So what do you mean to say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I was just, uh, yes, of course, I, I was worried because uh, people are always judging and making fun of uh, people when it's, it, no matter what you do, No matter how good you are or, the, or bad you are, they are always judging and always saying some some bad things. Uh, I was like, uh, oh. Yeah, Ludmila, you're right. Maybe they will eat me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and that's that's the thing, Lukas, that it's funny that other people that don't speak well are the ones judging because I will tell you that people that 
are native speakers, they're not going to be judging you. Yeah. They don't even care. It's like if I come and speak Slovak to you, what what is the first thing that comes to your head? Are you judging like how no, stupid is no, this no, weird? No, no, no. It's the Definitely same. not. I'm proud of you for your Slovak language yeah, because yeah. because Slovak language is so hard and so yeah. useless. Uh, in, If you in, don't in, live in, here, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is useless language uh, for other people. I mean, the thing is that I lived here for a long time, but I never really started to use it until I decided that I had to. Mm. And I started working at coffee shop. Yeah. Because it was just not possible. People don't want to practice it with me. Or even when I go to shop, they, they switch to English. They don't want to. Mm. I have to force them to speak Slovak with me. But at the coffee shop, I was able to actually finally get out of my comfort zone and, mm, and mm. practice. Yeah, because uh, the the tongue is is a muscle, and you need to practice that muscle because it's all about that. And you learn that. Uh, I learned it, learned that at school that you must practice the tongue in in your language. And in English, you are using a different. Uh, parts of tongue or, or or positions of your tongue or you know what yeah, I, yeah mean. i understand you perfectly well lukas before you give your message could you please yes. help me send a message to before you do could you help me send a message to strapo to please come to, on to strapo uh, oh, there is a thing uh, there is a thing oh I, uh, no 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 i asked him okay He uh, said, of course, but uh, he has some uh, medical issues right now. But he will. I think yes. I think yes. But uh, he, I think they operated him right now or Poor something guy. like that. Uh, so give him a time, you know. But he wants to come. Yeah. Very good guy. Like, uh, he, he was like, he knew you, that you are fine, that you are okay. He will come, but... Uh, He don't plan anything and after that operation he was uh uh insecure about himself because uh the doctors told him that uh, he don't that he maybe don't have ability to uh g- good thinking or good uh, uh, uh I don't know some clarity what, what of drugs. the mind yes, so some clarity yeah mm-hmm. maybe they g- gave him some drugs I don't know There's a, oh, well we wish Trapo that he gets yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. well soon he that we'll guy another person very humble very nice i met him at gaming um he's he's geek convention. he's a real geek yeah but you know what like immediately he spoke to me he, he gave me a signed cd yeah it's one of my treasures from slovakia oh okay i have it in a box uh, secured and protected yeah but yeah he was he was extremely nice he gave me some other goodies and Very cool guy. So we wish him the best. We hope you get well soon, Strapo, and look forward to seeing you here in the podcast. Last comment here is saying, I love this podcast so much. Keep on the great work. You will be So the goal is not to be famous, guys. The only reason that I want people to to subscribe yeah, camera off is because it's the only way that we can convince people to come on the podcast, right? But um there is no intention to get famous here just to bring you a different type of content right ah, this camera is so it's the heat right maybe i don't know i don't know you, you change the position of the camera and it start doing this yes so maybe it's heat from the from the screen right from the screen yeah so we might need to sorry guys again sorry sorry we are so sorry man so, so sorry Final message from our friend Lukas. Yeah. Take it away. Uh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, uh, I I really thank you for inviting me for this podcast. It was really nice. Thank you for coming. I I have fun. I love this studio and I am wishing this podcast uh, to be the one of the greatest podcast. No. You will be famous, don't worry. <laughs> you will be Just just hype this uh, guys please share this podcast uh tell about tell to your friends about this podcast your family or grandma I don't know but it's fun tell your we can, we can learn together something and uh spread love 
uh, don't hate in the comments because Miguel is super nice guy. He don't deserve that. He's doing this for you and uh, for us, of course, to have fun. And uh, I hope we will see uh, see soon us, uh, you know, together. Uh, maybe uh, I, I I ask Miguel if we can uh, uh, make a live stream on TikTok. So maybe we will. We maybe will. next time we will the dual stream here and on TikTok. I don't know. We can do that for sure. Yeah. I, I'm in. Yeah. So that is my last word. I uh, I don't know what to tell. Thank That's you. That's amazing, Lukas. It's been a pleasure to have you here. And guys, thank you for watching. Next week, we don't have a podcast because I am away. I go volunteer in a children's camp. Oh. So I will not be podcasting. But then the week after, we have Jodoch, who is a CSGO player. And then we have Woody. Ah, okay. So Roman Drevo. Roman. And uh, so, yeah, so look forward to that. Thank you again. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And have a nice one, guys.